Hey guys, it's Holly and Rob here for Access. We're at Eurogamer Expo. Rob is super happy because we have spotted another Assassin's Creed demo that we haven't made a video of before. Uh, we did the fort level, I think, at Gamescom. We did indeed. So this time we're in a jungle and you're going to assassinate a man. That is the game, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, do let's do it. What I'm going to do first is just slowly pan that camera around so we can see this lush jungle foliage. Wow. That is the most developer thing possible. And you know, it's all developers do it. Like, look, I'm going to stand on top of this cliff and slowly move the analog stick around so you can take in just how good it looks. But it does look really good. It does look absolutely amazing. So the object of this mission is I, as Edward Kenway, I've got to reach that ship over there and assassinate the captain. And I've got to do it by getting through that jungle below me. As you can see, it looks pretty sweet. So let's get my parkour on. I love that word. <laughs> I like that you've got, is that a blow dart on your back as well? Yeah. Can we use it? Can we use it later on? I want to send someone to sleep and then I want to kill them. Yep, yeah, absolutely we'll be doing that. So if you notice there that the, the kind of tree swinging, the tree climbing is pretty much lifted straight from Assassin's Creed 3, which is fine because it worked brilliantly in Assassin's Creed 3. It's really simple, you just hold forward and the kind of action button and Edward will swing across beautifully. We found a fragment. Do we know anything about those yet or are we just collecting them? They must just be the, the kind of collectibles you often get in Assassin's Creed. I don't know too much more about them. Um, but what I do know is that there are going to be some men down here that I think probably want a blow dart in their necks. Do it, Rob, do it. Okay, I will. So the first thing I'm going to do is quickly nip into this foliage here. Okay. Just looks so good. Look at the butterflies. I know. Let's use my... You use the D-pad to select weapon. We could either do sleep dart or we could do a berserk dart. Maybe berserk. Should we berserk that man? There? He already looks drunk. Oh, now, too late. Now he's berserk. He might attack that other guy. He's already drunk though, isn't he? He's gonna cause a right ruckus, which will allow me to sneak past unnoticed. That's the plan anyway. My aim is to get onto that tree trunk so I can just sneak past them without me even knowing I was here. Thank you, Rob. That was semi-successful. I think, I think you did it. I think you didn't get seen, or is that a dog just chased you? Looking for me, definitely. I'm gonna stay hidden here. Is that a dog or a warthog? I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna assassinate this guy before he finds me. Nothing to see here. <laughs> okay, now that these guys are out on the watch. That guy there is throwing. That was amazing. He's throwing grenades around, looking for me. That is horrible. I'm just going to stay hidden because as soon as I come out, these guys are going to be on me. I need to probably get up there. Maybe I'm going to blow dart that man. That's probably the best idea, isn't it? Put him to yeah. sleep. I should probably get out of the way of that leaf. I don't know whether he's in blow dart range. That's the only problem. They've almost stopped. They've almost looked like they've stopped looking for you. I think I've accidentally just... Put that man to sleep instead of the man who's actually... Let's get my sword out and let's have a fight. Yeah, you need to shoot me quicker than that. Okay, that's fine. So we're not the stealthiest assassin alive, but we do look good. What I was doing, Holly, was deliberately showing people the uh, the melee options and the, uh, the sword combat there. So I deliberately got seen. Definitely deliberately. And again. <laughs> and again. What I'm going to do here is jump down on him with my sword. That was quite clumsy of me. Okay, so the combat. Press circle to counter, like that. Bigger enemies like this guy. Obviously, uh, take a bit more hitting, but you can break their defense by pressing X, and I've died. We had a little death we did. of ourselves. The guy who spotted me has been... I've avenged myself, basically. There he is. That's what you get when you spot me in Assassin's Creed. Anyway, this guy down here. The big guys are really hard. They threw grenades at you, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him out before he has a chance to do that again with a sleep dart, and that guy's going to try and wake him up. He's also going to go to sleep. Night-night, lads. Right, are they, do we think we can make go for it now? 
Oh, there's another one coming to check on him. I have to make sure he goes to sleep as well. It's a bit of a slumber party down there. Okay. Off we go. They're going to wake up in a minute. It's going to get past them quickly. Okay, we are, we are done. You have avenged yourself. We are back in the jungle. We're back through the jungle, and I think we're going to come out into the area. Yeah, this is this is the the area that's pretty challenging. Okay, it's filled with guards. I've got to try and get to the ship across the harbour, avoiding combat as much as possible, ideally. So pretty. I oh, know. Look at that. It looks incredible. That guy down there looks like he's in need of a nap. To be fair. There's a man who's about to spot me. There's a man poking around this house. I think he knows I'm here. I think a lot of people are poking around this place. He's actually coming up. This is this is bad. That was amazing. I believe he just fell asleep and actually fell. He fell asleep through the air. Okay, let's hop over there. I'm wondering if the rooftops is probably the best way. Maybe it is. I should have maybe gone through the foliage. Obviously, there's loads of different options, as always. You can go through the foliage. You can cut across the rooftops like I'm doing. I'm now going to take to the trees. Now I might duck into that bit of foliage down there. You think it's thick enough? Yes. That guard. He might see me. All right, let's take this guy out. And quickly get into that foliage there. Okay, so the harbour's where I want to go. I think the best approach is probably to use my stealth swim. But this guy is in the way at the moment. I wonder if I whistle I can attract his attention. I've probably attracted the attention of someone behind me. Okay. I'm just going to go for this. Get in the water, get in the water. I love, love the way he yeah. runs in, like, in. like the way I try and run. They always make it look so good in the films, but I run like that. <laughs> I know, it's fantastic. And now I'm stealth swimming. And I know I go on about it a lot, but just look at that surface water. You do love, you do love your in-game water this tech. This is superb though, this is superb. Okay. This guy up here, I think he, he's on to me. He's going to have to go down, I think. Nothing to see, mate. Nothing to see here. That was really actually quite scary assassination. That looked quite difficult. Yeah, I actually got the jump on him, it's fine. Okay, I should probably just start employing my stealth swim again. So the captain of the ship is the guy who needs to be taken down. So my brilliant plan is going to be to climb the rigging without anyone seeing me and hopefully air assassinate him before he even knows what on earth is going on. Okay, so I'm going to clamber around here. The climbing feels, you know, pretty similar to Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed 3. It was always really good though. Brotherhood, ha I'm going to say it, Brotherhood's been my favourite so far. I absolutely adored Brotherhood. I think Revelations for me. I just love the whole, the story arc with Ezio in it and uh, how that all panned out and seeing the end of Altair as well. It's beautiful. Actually, okay. that ending was pretty, pretty intense. Right, yeah, let's. So we get all the way to the top. That chap down there. I believe he is my target in the red cloak. So my plan is to wait for him to wander underneath me, and then I'm going to take him out. You're going to play the waiting game, okay. like a patient assassin. He's coming. He hasn't got a clue. He hasn't got a clue what's about to drop out of the sky, into his neck. Kill. Oh, I will. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Uh, the wrong person. The wrong person. So, let's fix this and let's kill this man. It's going to be probably quite hard now, isn't it? Because these guys are really good at fighting and I'm not. Go on, attack me. I dare you. Well, that's him down. They've 
they've definitely made the uh, the adversaries a lot less easy to kill. Like counter timings are a lot, you know, less forgiving than they were before. Oh. That was brutal. Kill him. Oh, well done. Neck there. Well, I screwed up my stealthy assassination assassin. I don't want to say it, but I am disappointed in you. Well, I showed everyone the, the new combat system, so I think, you know, I should be applauded for that. That's one of the beautiful things about Assassin's Creed. You muck up your plan and you can still, you know, break out the swords and still get the job done, which I did. Which I have to do frequently uh, from my <laughs> experience. But yeah, that is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. That is the assassination mission demo. Don't forget, you can follow the channel for plenty more videos on Assassin's Creed and, of course, plenty more videos for PlayStation 4 and Eurogamer Expo coming up as well.